From the outside, Freedom Hall looks as it would any other day, but behind the scenes, a massive undertaking to prepare for the president's arrival with major political implications. The Secret Service joined White House officials, local law enforcement, and Johnson City Schools in a walkthrough of Freedom Hall today. There are several moving parts, whether you have Secret Service, you have uh, White House Communications, you have Advance, so everyone's kind of coming together to make sure that when the president gets here, everything's great. President Trump is holding a fundraiser and rally in support of Marsha Blackburn, the U.S. Senate candidate who's in a tight race with Democrat Phil Bredesen. Tennessee Republicans hope the president's appearance will benefit candidates up and down the ballot. He's obviously a force to be reckoned with when it comes to elections, and so he'll help bring the voters out. With the early dismissal of Johnson City Schools comes a chance for students to learn about the significance of a presidential visit. It's a great opportunity to talk about how this is very special uh, and uh, what an honor it is to uh, have the President of the United States visiting our city. If you're attending the rally, don't bring any signs, professional cameras, selfie sticks, or GoPros, and you will not need an ID to get in. Now, city officials tell us a lot of these details surrounding the President's visit will still be coming together over the next several days, and they ask the public to remain patient. In Johnson City, John Engel News 5, WCYB. Back to you.